everybody. I just wanted to showcase what I just got. This is the, hold on, let's find my cameras. Here we go. This is the LS2 FF390 Brickett helmet. I'm going to show you how it looks in the box I just got. Close that up. It came in this box. And inside the box. this. So it comes with a little case, which is cool. A little carry case. If you want to carry around your helmet, so be it. This is what the case looks like. Take the case off. And it comes like this. I had already took the plastic off, but I put it back on to show you. So it comes with a plastic. You just go here. There we go. So this is the helmet. And I'll show you this. DOT. Here's the helmet. Here's the size. LS2. It does come with the sun visor inside. Of course, I'll have this all bedazzled up by this summer. I just love my rhinestones. LS2. Now, inside, now right here, you pull up the screen. And this is a sun visor. Now the button, I just forgot like I say, is right here on your left side. So your left side, you pull it back towards the back of your head. The sun visor comes down. Like the other videos, you have the little nose. But when I put it on, trust me, you don't notice the difference. And I have other helmets with a visor. It's perfectly fine. Trust me, you need it when the sun is rising or setting because you will go blind on a bike. So this is what it looks like. This is more of a neon orange. It's some red. The theme for this 2021 summer is going to be orange for me, so I definitely wanted some orange, but if I switch next year, it's just enough orange that I can cover it to another color next year with decals. So the white is a nice clean look. I'm going to put like an orange reflective tape right here, so at nighttime, other cars, when the light hits it, they can see me. If you know, you want to be seen on a bike, sometimes you don't, but sometimes you do. There's ventilation back here. Orange, red, black, orange, red, more orange. I don't know if the color looks in the camera, but I would say it's like a a neon fluorescent orange, not a burnt orange. And the red is like a you cut yourself and bleed type blood red, that color red. Uh, as the other videos have shown, more vents up here, but you'll need on them hot days that of course you have your gear on, but you're gonna need air to breathe. So more of that um like i said before it's dot and ece rated and that's pretty much it i just wanted to show you guys what it look like so this let me show you the inside this is inside of the helmet let's see if i can get close enough so this is a 3xl the review says that um buy it a little bigger so Bigger depends on what wig I'm wearing. So my regular hair, I'm a 2XL. But if I put on a piece, you know, to show off a little color on the bike, I'm a 3XL. All that hair. So this is a 3XL. And with my regular hair, it fit. But it's very snug. And the reason that it's snug is these right here, which I had it out yesterday. Right here, they it pops out. But this right here is a pad. It's very thick, which is good. You know, got the binging and accent. But... A friend of mine said, take the padding out, put it underneath a couch or a mattress to flatten it. Because once you get this flattened a little bit, it won't feel like, oh my God, I look like a chipmunk. My face is squeezing out. This is the, you see this? That's where you put it in to keep it on your head. This is a lot, I don't know if you can see it, a lot of cushioning. Let me show you with it on my actual head. Let me show you how it looks. So you struggle like any helmet when it's first new is very snug putting on. But once you ride it for a couple of times, it'll slide right on. So this is the first time 3XL. Put on my little head. Perfect. So this is how it looks. This is regular, clear. Sun visor, left side. This right here. Goes up. You see a little chubby chipmunk sheet. 
I have plenty of room. I don't know if you can see it. I have plenty of room right here. Just stick my whole hand. But you need that. You can't have your helmet with your mouth flat against it. You can't breathe. And the more you ride in a day, your face swells. It'll be too tight. It's very uncomfortable. Trust me, I tried it. Very snug. Doesn't wobble. Even with it not tied down, it can't come off. This. This piece. Right here. Right here. I'm going to take this piece right there. Something like that. It's, it's just snapping. I'm not using the helmet. Give me a few days. I'll get it. But, like that. Slides right off. Nice and snug. You always want a helmet snug because if you got a brake hard or got from being an accident, you don't want to fly off. This defeats the point of a helmet. In that case, stay in PA. Don't wear a helmet. But everything else, overall, I'm excited. It's a good helmet. I'm ready for it. I've even trying to get my brother to buy one. Not the same color. But um, I think it looks good. If you have any questions, I can't answer it. I don't know anything else about the helmet. I haven't read up much. But um, the other reviews on it are really good. That's what got me to buy this helmet. I just wanted to showcase the color. So the point of the video isn't to sell you one. It's just so you can see the color in case you're thinking of buying it. I got this from MotorcycleCloseouts.com. I think it's like retail at one something, but it was on sale for like 70 something. So easy to change. Shield. I'll eventually learn how to do that this summer. Breathable. And yeah, I just wanted to let you see the color. This is red. These are red, black. You get the orange, fluorescent. It looks dark, but it's not dark. It's like a fluorescent orange, like a bleeding red type of red. It's not light, not neon. Uh, those are the colors. It's black, white, and you got your specks of orange, which any shade of orange matches any other shade. So if you got a burnt orange bike, this orange is fine. If you have a pastel orange bike, this color will work. So I definitely recommend. I think it's a great helmet. It fits good. Um, even as a 3XL. I think if I had gotten a 4XL, I think it would have been too big. And like the Icons, I think it's I-I-C-O-N, but it might be I-C-O-N. They run extremely small. So I brought like a $200 helmet Icon this summer. And it was 3XL, so it could fit with all my luscious hair and all. Way too tight. I couldn't even get on my head. So be wary and check to see if they run small or they run true to size. This one is run small, so if you're an XL... If you're not, if you don't wear beanie hats and stuff, get an XL. But if you like me with extra hair, definitely go up a half, uh, half a size, a whole size. And um, I think it's a really good helmet. Mainly, I'm happy for the sun visor because I get caught leaving rides a lot with the sun in my face. And this is do or die. That's that's a game changer. So definitely a visor. I have the clip on Cardo. So the Cardo, since there's a clip here, I can't put it on my left. The Cardo Bluetooth will go on my right, so it'll go move this, I think there's a, there's a little bit of room, I'll find room, but it'll clip right here, so it'll be right here for the Cardo, so when I need to play music, I'll just press buttons on this side. The air pieces will go in here, I know you probably can't see it, but right up here is where the air piece will go, so the cavity looks really good, so I could definitely hear my music without the padding muffling the sound out. So, I don't know, the other video explained what this little triangle button is. I, I forgot that fast. But, of course, I'll look it up. And any helmet you get, make sure you research it before, after, and during. Because if you get it before bike season, you will forget by bike season. So, just touch base again. Um, it's a good helmet, once again. This is the front. How it looks. This is your left side. This is the back of the helmet. Pretty simple, but clearly I'll be putting rhinestones. To say little diamonds. And this is the right side of the helmet where my Bluetooth will be going right here where the mouth is. And the left side is where your sun visor is. And that's all right. That is my video in under 10 minutes. Here we go. All right. Good luck. Motorcycle closeouts. So it's up for $80, $70. Less than $100. It's not bad. It's a good backup helmet. So if you have a main helmet, great. You shouldn't wear the same helmet the entire bike season. You definitely need to switch it up and make sure you spray with like antibacterial spray, like Lysol or something, after ride because you sweat. Sweat goes in the pads. 
If you're not washing the pads, the pads end up creating bacteria, which break out your face or causes other things. So you definitely want to keep your padding clean. And if you don't wash it in the washing machine, make sure you use Lysol and let it air dry. Don't put it on your face with Lysol. So that's pretty much it. Just make sure you do maintenance to first helmets, secondary helmets. This is great as a second helmet for a passenger on the bike. It's perfect as that. Um, for smaller size, it'd be perfect as a youth helmet for the kids. Um, that's about it. I think overall, this, I'll have, I'll be using three helmets this season. So this would be one of the three that I just rotate. So I usually wear like ride for two, switch, ride for two, switch, or depending on my outfit, I may be wearing orange to match my hair or wearing another black one because I'm just tired. So it all depends on how my Bluetooth, which one is hooked up to, which I have two. So one will be hooked up on this one and the other one will be hooked up on the other one. By the way, Cardo Freecom, awesome. That is a gift. I love it. So that's about it. And this is your LS2. Um, I forgot the number, but it's my motorcycle. <laughs> Close out. The other review said it was an intermediate oval. My head is about an intermediate oval. It's definitely not round. So if you're intermediate oval, it's pretty good. It, it works pretty good. And you don't have a lot of room hitting the back. There's not a lot of room back here. It's definitely made for more of an oval head. Or females if you have like little ponytails or a bun it's perfect for it it has enough space for that so definitely recommend all right thanks